So I've had a few people ask me about how to use the tongue drum to do chakra balancing. So I wanted to share a demonstration on two different ways that you could do a chakra balancing or cleansing with your tongue drum. And the cool thing about these two methods is that it doesn't actually matter what scale uh, your tongue drum is in. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can balance your chakras no matter what scale you have. So the first way I want to share is based off of the correlation between each of your chakra points and the note that it represents. So the scale that I have always been drawn to the most and really resonate with is starting at C for your root chakra and then going up um, to the crown chakra at B. So it would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And that's all associating to the different chakras um, along your meridian. And so uh, the tongue drums, a lot of uh, the scales have most of those notes in them. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do this um, with this tongue drum, which is in D major. And so this uh, D major tongue drum scale has C, D, E, F, G, A, B, but the C and the F are sharp. And I think that's okay. You know, even if um, one of the notes is sharp or flat, it's still in the same range. So you're going to receive um, the same correlation. It's just gonna be a little bit off. But what we're gonna do is if you have um, a tongue drum that has a C in it, we're gonna start there. And this is C sharp. And that's going to represent your root chakra. So there's two different ways that, um, or any way actually, that you can actually um, decide how to play each note. You could hit them each individually slowly, or you can roll. I typically like to roll my notes because you get more of that sound and vibration coming out more fluidly and consistently. So you're going to start at a C and if you have a scale that is actually in C major then you'll have um, a C there but any C, C sharp, C flat, if you have a C start with that and focus in on your root chakra which is at the base of your spine. And you can stay on this note as long as you want. Really just focusing on the pattern, the sound, and sending that healing energy to your root chakra area. Then we're going to move to D. And this is going to represent the sacral. And so roll for D and really focus on your sacral chakra. And then you're going to move to E and that's going to represent your solar plexus area. And then you'll move to F and that will represent your heart chakra. And just focus on sending a sound and vibration, opening up your heart, letting that energy be fluid and moving in any direction it's needed. Taking that in. And then we're going to move to G, and that's going to be the throat chakra. Sending healing energy and sound to the throat, allowing that channel to be open, and the energy moving through, clearing out any negativity or stagnation in the throat chakra. And then we'll move to A. And the A is the third eye, right here. Sending this healing sounds and vibration 
to your third eye. And the last one is B for your crown chakra. There he is. Now, let's say you don't have a tongue drum that has one of those notes in there. Um, so for example, I'll switch this one out. Um, my D major, and I'm going to bring in so this is uh, my other tongue drum, which is in B minor, and this one's called Grace B minor. And this one actually doesn't have um, the C or the F. So it's missing those two notes. It has other um, notes that are really beautiful, but it's missing those two. So for example, if you have a tongue drum that doesn't have all of the seven notes um, in the C major scale, uh, then what you can do is just start with um, the lowest note on your tongue drum and go up to the highest. So, for example, um, you'll find the note on your tongue drum that's the lowest, and for mine it's the B. And the highest one um, is the E. So you're going to find the lowest and the highest. And what you're going to do is correlate um, just the lower sounds um, to your lower chakra areas and the higher notes to the higher chakra areas. So it doesn't really matter if it's correlating to a specific note. This is just helping align that energy um, going from lower notes to higher notes. Um, and so uh, for this one, I found um, the scale just from the lowest notes to the highest notes. And mine sounds like this. So that's what I will be playing um, going from lowest to highest. Um, and I'm only going to be focusing on the seven different chakras, so I won't be playing the highest note E. Um, since that's technically eight, um, I'll be stopping at D, uh, which is, will be number seven for the crown chakra. Um, and so what you want to do, since the notes aren't correlating specifically, this is the chance to be a little more tuned in to the area you're wanting um, to open up and send the healing energy. And so for this example, it's always helpful to really tune in and visualize um, the specific chakra you're wanting to send healing to or open up. And so I'm going to start with mine and B, and I'm going to go through this and just really focus as I'm going up with my notes. I'm going to be focusing my energy in each chakra as I go up. So we'll start with the lowest note. This is going to my root chakra again. This is B. And I'm going a little higher to my sacral. And this is D. And to my solar plexus. Taking a deep breath, let it out, and just let the sound and the vibration of the tongue drum just really bring healing to your body. And if you have other practices on 
clearing your chakras or doing sound healing, you can incorporate that into um, this exercise. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is the one that I've used that really works for me and really resonates. Um, so kind of play around with what comes naturally to you and find the notes that resonate with each chakra. And they may be completely different than the ones I shared um, in this video, and that's fine. Um, we kind of tune in to where we need um, the healing energies with these sounds. So this is just a little bit of guidance on getting started with um, chakra clearing with the tongue drum. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions and um, thanks so much.